Welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Ivy Hartman and joining me now in the studio for a whole lot of fun is Travis Hauser. He's the director of events and theaters for Grand Center. Travis, welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. So what does that mean, being the director of events and theater in Grand Center? Uh, I'd be willing to bet we don't have enough time to cover all of it. but uh, It's but a it means lot of hats it, and big shoes. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> So uh, we have three theaters that we operate, and so I oversee all of them, and then we produce a handful of festivals throughout the year, and I oversee all of them also. Right, so. right, and really we're here tonight to talk, or today to talk about First Night. Exactly. Which is a festival that takes place same day, same time, every year in Grand Center, a good old New Year's Eve celebration outside and inside. Right, a lot of it's inside actually, uh, but it is both. So it's probably the most creative New Year's Eve festival you'll find or celebration you'll you'll be able to participate in which is really cool now it's been a grand center for about 10 years but right. it, the festival itself has been taking place in st louis for at least 20 years exactly this actually is the 20th anniversary of it being in st louis it's an exciting time it is and what is this year's theme xanadu what does that mean you know i think some of us may know what xanadu is and may not well xanadu can mean a lot of things <laughs> but we decided to focus this year so uh it, we're taking it from kind of where the Greek muses are housed. It's supposed to be Xanadu. Um, there's nine Greek muses. And so we're doing a little bit of that Greek mythology. And then we're also doing a little bit from the movie Xanadu with Olivia Newton-John. Um, and there'll be a little bit of disco-esque things. So there'll be some Greek muses and some disco things. What are some of your favorite things about First Night? Um, probably my favorite things about First Night is the vast array of things that you can see and do. I mean, it's the whole spectrum of, of entertainment and performance. So that, that's what I like most about it. And if you haven't been there, this is a great year for you to check it out. It's really easy to get tickets and information. Um, you can go to firstnightstl.org to get all that information about what's going on on First Night, mm -hmm. get a hold of your button. It's really easy, it's not even a ticket. You and your family can wear a button around the event and everything is included in just one cost of that button, which is really awesome, including one of my favorite things, the fireworks show. Right, two fireworks shows, I know. <laughs> not Even just better. one. There's a nine o'clock and midnight fireworks show. As far as my kids are concerned, there's only one. It's at nine o'clock and they're very confused about why we do a countdown, but to them it's midnight and we love it. So it is a family friendly affair, but you know what, we see all kinds of d uh, people arriving and using and first night as their celebration means. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit more about that. Plus, what's coming up that's new this year when we come back? You can see the masses down there at first night. That's what Travis was talking about. There's all kinds of venues and all kinds of performances. Some of it outside, a lot of it inside. And we're going to have more on that when we come back. And remember, we're going to spend some more time with Travis, but you can also spend some time with STL TV and all the great events that we keep track of and inform you about here in St. Louis. And to do that, you need to friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you know, I mentioned it earlier, Travis, you may not have heard me, so I'll say it again. We stream everything live on stltv.net. I know you'll tell your friends. We'll be back with Travis more after this.